So today I'm going to be doing a little declutter. Um, first, I'm gonna go through for my blushes that I've been keeping in my like everyday use drawer. So all of these I'll probably be keeping, um, except maybe like one. This is the Kat Von D blush, and this is in the shade Honeysuckle. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. It's super, super pretty. Um, I talked about it in a recent favorites. I also talked about the Jouer blush duo here. I pretty much only use this light pink part here, but it is super pretty. I'm going to be keeping that. And I actually just got this one like yesterday. This is the Melt Cosmetics Nevermore Blush Light. And I used this as my blush today and it's just, it's super pretty. It's like a really glowy blush. Um, so this is staying. Um, one that I actually am going to get, <laughs> my cat just dropped this from my desk. Um, but one thing I am going to get rid of is this Essence Soft Matte Touch Blush. I don't really use this. Um, when I do, I just don't really enjoy it that much. I don't think it really, I don't know, just doesn't really give me the color that I want. And it's like, I don't know, it's almost too light. It just doesn't really show up very well. Uh, so I'm going to declutter this one. Um, let me see. I also have some highlights. Um, <laughs> these are the highlights that were up there. I don't know why I didn't have them down here. I'm not very organized right now. Um, I have this Color Girl True Blend Stunner Highlight. These are absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried these, you need to try them. They're so, I swear, Todd. Now he's pushing blushes off of my desk. Um, these are so good. Um, super, super metallic. This is the only one I can really use because the other shades are way too dark on me. This one's like getting too close to dark, um, close to too dark, but it's, I can still use it. Um, this is my Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Beauty Beam Highlight. This one's like my favorite. If you've ever watched my videos, you probably know that. I have like a huge divot in this middle section. So that is staying. Um, my MAC Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish. Oh my goodness, I could not get that out. Um, it's also going to be staying another favorite. And of course, my Jeffree Star highlight is uh, staying. It's in the shade Nefri and it is like the most beautiful shade ever. Um, I absolutely love it. That will be staying. And so will my Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution Sprinkles palette. This is a new one to my collection that I've been trying out, so I'm going to be keeping that. So now that we have gone through the things that I'm keeping from my main drawers, I'm going to change the view to my drawers, um, my like side drawers with my extra stuff in it, and we will go through those. Okay, so we're in my drawer now. And I'm going to start with highlights, I think. And I'm gonna get right into it with one that I'm going to be getting rid of. I recently just got this one in BoxyCharm. This is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter Pen Thingy. And I talked about this in my video and I tried it and it's just not very good. It's like all glitter and it takes your makeup off and I just am not a fan. So I'm going to give this to someone that might actually use it. Um, I'm also going to be getting rid of two of these um, O Beach Cosmetics, what are they called? Sand Sparkles Highlighters. They are like loose highlighters. Um, they sent these to me and they sent me three shades, but I can't really use this one. This is in the shade You Glow Beach and this one is in Beach I'm Glistening and they're very dark shades, so I can't use them, but I can use this one and this is in the shade I'm That Beach. It's a loose one, so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to declutter these two to somebody that could use them. Um, let's see here. Uh, I've got the e.l.f. Heart Defensor Highlighter. I love this one. Anybody that watches my channel knows I do. This is like a huge divot in here. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm absolutely keeping my Lunar Beauty Highlight. This is like my favorite one. I did a whole video about this one, but I did the video about this one and this one, which is supposed to be the dupe for it, which is not opening. It's this like silvery looking one and it's just it's eh, it's okay um i will keep it for now because i just got it but <laughs> i'm not a huge fan um this is the milk makeup highlight in the shade flex highlighter oh did i say that this was makeup revolution the dupe i think i don't know if i did but it is makeup revolution this is the milk makeup flex highlighter in the shade iced i love this highlighter it's so pretty um, i use this for my wedding and i'm going to be keeping it um, this is the Pixie Highlighter in Glowy Gossamer Duo, and I'm going to be keeping this one. I pretty much only use this pink shade. This one is a little too dark for me, but it's very pretty. I'm also going to keep this one I just picked up recently. This is the Becca Highlight in the shade, I believe this is Prismatic Amethyst. Yes, it is. It's like a purpley shade, but it's super pretty, and I'm going to keep it. 
Um, I'm also going to keep this one because I'm trying to pan it. This is the Flexitarian Highlight from ColourPop. I'm doing pretty solid at panning it, um, but I'm going to keep working on it. Um, I'm also going to be keeping this highlight. This is the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. Um, I really like this one. I've talked about this in videos before. It's like this really pretty purple, but it's like super, super bright and I love it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this e.l.f. halo blush light thing. I just never really use it and the highlight is just kind of, uh, it's a little too glittery for my taste. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's pretty glittery and I just don't use it that often, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to be keeping this one from Beauty Creations. It's the Annette 69 highlight in the shade... Doesn't say, I guess it's just the highlighter, but it's this like champagne -y gold and it's a very pretty highlight, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Um, I actually got this in a boxy charm too. It is the Wondrous Dust to Dawn palette. I said I was going to try it. It was my like free gift for signing up, um, but the highlights are just way too dark for me and I can't use them. Um, so I really don't have a reason to keep the palette even though I just got it, um, but it's just, it's just too deep for me. I can't really use it at all and the blush is just too dark for my cheeks. It makes me look kind of crazy, so I will be getting rid of that one too. Um, so let me see here. Next is my blushes. So this is the Lottie London Blush Crush in the shade Drake. I love this one. I've talked about it before, so I'm going to be keeping that. Um, this is the Milani Blush in Tea Rose. I always want to call it Romantic Rose, and I don't really know why. Um, I think that's another one of their shades, but I always forget. Um, but I used to love this one, and I used it all the time, but I, like, never ever touch it anymore. So I'm going to declutter this one. Um, this is the MAC blush in the shade Melba. This is like the classic blush everyone loves. Um, so I'm going to keep this one. I use this one often. I'm also going to be keeping my Kathleen Lights blush from ColourPop. This is like my only ColourPop blush. Um, this is in I Need Space. It was from the Zodiac collection that she did with them. Uh, I will be keeping my Hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. It's like a little mini version of it and it's very cute. I like that they like actually just like shrink down their packaging. It's still like the same thing. It's just like a cute little mini version of it. There's just something about that that I like. I also love the packaging on this one, but I mean, who doesn't? I feel like it's like, it looks like a Polly Pocket. I feel like I'm using a Polly Pocket when I have this. It reminds me of like the little cases that you would open up. And this color is super unique and very pretty. And like, it's got like a little bunnies in it. I don't know if you can see. It's very cute. It's all cute. So I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to be keeping my Unicorn Glow Blush. This is a new brand they have at CVS and this is in the shade Cotton Candy and it's just like really soft and pretty and peachy and I like it a lot. So I'm going to be keeping this pretty soft blush. Um, one that I'm going to be getting rid of even though I don't want to <laughs> is the Too Faced Blush in the shade Berries and Bubbly. It's just, it's pretty. It smells good, the packaging is gorgeous, but it's literally just glitter. Like the color doesn't show up on your face and it's just like a glitter bomb. It's not, it's just not good. It's not a good look. There's no blush. You just put giant like chunks of glitter on your face and no matter how cute the packaging is, it just doesn't save it. So that will be decluttered. <laughs> I am going to be keeping my Kylie blush. This is like the only Kylie product I have. This is in Batty on the Block. It is a super pretty, like very pink blush and I like this one a lot. Um, so I think I'm pretty much going to be keeping all of my bronzers. These are all, I use all of these. I have a hard time finding bronzers. So when I find ones that work, I don't really uh, declutter them because it's hard for me to find them. So I'm just gonna show you them if you want to see them, but I'm uh, probably not going to declutter any of these. This is the Sugar Rush Bronzer from Tarte and it is in the shade Sun and Fun. Um, it's like their baked bronzer from like their other line. They have like, I, I think it's at Ulta they have it. That's super pretty. Um, this is more of a contour. This is the Kat Von D. This is the light shade of it. They had the, I had the full palette, but I used both of these. And um, I had used them up, so I gave the palette away to somebody that could use the darker colors. Um, and I didn't want to buy a full palette again. It's just for the colors that I liked, so I bought just the little version. This is the Hot Cocoa Bronzer Highlighter Duo Compact from Ofra. And I pretty much use this for a highlight. I use the bronzer occasionally, but the bronzer is pretty dark. I have to use it really light-handed, but um, this one is really nice too. Um, these are all really nice Like if you have like super pale skin. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer, and this one is so good, and it's really easy to use if you have really light, like pale skin. Um, so is this one. This is the Cover FX Bronzer in Sunkiss. This is the old packaging before they started doing the duos. 
um, but this one is great if you have really really light skin and it's more of a cool tone instead of giving you like an orangey or red look um, this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze, and this one is super pretty also. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. It's a very light, light bronzer. And then my last one is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer in Take a Vacation. This one is really pretty and light too, and I can't open it. There we go. <laughs> it's just like a nice, pretty baked bronzer. It's just a nice light shade. Um, oh, and then the last thing I was going to talk about is I got this in the BoxyCharm actually just like the other day. This is Iconic London. It is the illuminator, but it is way, way too dark for my skin tone. Um, I could not use this for like anything. It's just super, super bronze. So I'm going to be decluttering this one also. So out of that, we ended up decluttering. Let's see. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine products out of all of that. So I am pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. I know it's not quite as many as some other declutters, but I also don't have like, you know, an entire dresser full of makeup. So I think it's pretty solid for, uh, for what we have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see my face for a few seconds, here it is. Um, please subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you.